Welcome to day three of Vlogmas. I am so excited because today I have a vegan grocery haul. This is what I buy in a week as a vegan. Now, I will say we have not been grocery shopping since we got back from our trip to France. So I had to buy a lot of things that I normally wouldn't get on like a weekly basis just to restock up on some things because our fridge is looking pretty sad. Okay, so in this bag, I just have some vegetables. So I got some asparagus. I also never buy organic um, vegetables. There's just not really a point to that, in my opinion. I don't really get the need, especially because like this asparagus was like $1.60 a pound, but the organic was like $7. Why? So I just get normal. I also picked up some zucchini, which is like the green Italian squash. And then lots of broccoli. I love broccoli. Broccoli cooks super fast. So this is like a go-to vegetable for me. And then I also always like to just have an onion. I get white onions, but any kinds. I use onions in my breakfast sandwiches, in taco bowls, and pasta. So I will go through an onion super quick. I usually just get one because Sometimes the produce is wonky. And then I also picked up some red peppers. I usually get red and green, but the green peppers were like strange looking today. And the I almost actually got organic green peppers, but those were like completely busted, so. And what I'll do is I'll prep my vegetables for the entire week, I'll like chop them up, um, get them ready so that if I'm cooking something super quick or doing a sheet pan, I kind of get that out of the way first. I'm just going like bag by bag. So this is probably gonna be all over the place because the bags are just like scattered. Um, this is new. I haven't seen this packaging before. I talked about this chicken in a video already, but this is my favorite plant-based chicken that I've found. It's expensive. If you get it in the bags at Sprouts, it's like $9, but these were on sale for $4.99. So I picked up three of these and they are the Daring Chicken Breast. They cook in the air fryer. They take like five minutes. They're absolutely amazing. They season so well. They were just like really good. So I'm not sure what the difference between these and the bag chicken tenders are. I don't think I have any. Otherwise I would show you guys what the bag looks like. I don't ever buy the bag at Sprouts though. I only get it at Walmart because it's like $5 at Walmart. And like I said, it's almost $9 at Sprouts. I only got this because these were on sale. I really don't know what the difference between the two is. The bag looks just like this, it's just green and it doesn't come in a package. I like to arrange my stuff on the conveyor belt at the grocery store in the order that I want it bagged, but it never works out that way. So I have some random mushrooms in this bag, um, but I just like to get the sliced white mushrooms. You can buy the whole mushrooms and just chop them yourself. Um, but I usually just get two of these little things. I try to find like what's on sale. Like if the whole ones are on sale, I'll just buy the whole ones, but no mushrooms were on sale this week. So I just got the white ones. And then, oh my gosh. So I like to make taco bowls and I'll do like corn, rice, onions, peppers, um, some type of like plant-based meat. And then I'll put this Siete hot sauce on them. It's jalapeno flavor. It's so good, it's spicy. It is so freaking spicy, but I love spicy food and this is absolutely amazing. It's like $5 a bottle, but it's worth every penny. It's so good. So if you eat a lot of tacos or you like that hot jalapeno kind of sauce, this is great. They have another flavor to Chipotle, but I haven't branched out yet because that one is just so good. Another thing I always have in my fridge at all times is some form of vegan cheese. I really like the super finely shredded follow your heart mozzarella. My favorite plant-based cheese is Parmela Creamery. They had it at Sprouts when Sprouts first opened and I have not been able to find this cheese literally anywhere. I don't know what happened to it. It was so good, so good. Like I didn't even realize it was plant-based. I thought like I messed up, um, but yeah, now I'm just sad because I'm like, where did it go? So anyway, this is probably my second favorite. So I usually get this, but they didn't have the kind I like. Walmart actually has the kind that I like, so. And then for my breakfast sandwiches, I wasn't sure if I had tortilla shells or not, um, but I got the Dave's Killer Classic English muffins in the morning, just popping one of these on with some 
breakfast patties, some just egg, and some like um, onions or whatever else you want to add to it. So good. And I eat them all the time. And then I lost my other onion saver, so I just got a brand new one. But these are great after you cut an onion, you just pop it in and screw it on. It's like $3 at Sprouts and it works marvelously. Okay, other things I always have in my cabinet or try to have in my cabinet is pasta because I have so many easy plant-based vegan pasta recipes. So for me, I just love having food that I can come home from like a long day at the studio and just like whip it up real fast. Cause I, I love eating out, but it's just, it's so expensive to eat out. So I always like to get pasta. This is just the sprout pasta. I got this one. I don't have to say that. And then I got bow ties, just pretty basic, but these were buy one, get one. So I always just get whatever pasta's on sale. With pasta, the only thing you usually have to double check is some pastas have egg in them. So you just kind of have to be careful about that when you're getting pasta. But other than that, I usually don't have any issues finding vegan pasta. Most brands of pasta are already vegan. So super easy, already vegan thing you probably have in the cabinet. And then another thing is I love like quick, easy meals. Again, like if I'm getting home from the studio super late at night and I'm not in the mood to cook, if I have like broccoli, tofu, things like that, I'll whip it up. But on the chances that I'm super, super lazy, I love something like this. So I found these vegan ramens at the very bottom of the shelf in Sprouts and they're just tiny little things. Um, they're 210 calories each. I just got two of them because like I know that I'll use these for like a quick lunch one day or something when I'm running behind in the mornings. This is like a great thing to have. Last thing in this bag is like our favorite chips ever. I don't know how I only got one bag, but these are the chili lime chips from Sprouts. I don't know if these taste like Takis because I've never had Takis, but they're freaking amazing. I don't know what it was, but when I came back from France, I was putting like a bag of these a day down. Like if you don't have self-control, maybe stay away from this one because they're too good. Spicy, but really good are my favorite chips they were buy one get one these are the late july jalapeno lime so i got two of them for the sale love those and then i also have a sweet tooth so these were buy one get one and i got some graham crackers these are the annie's organic um i get the chocolate and then i also really really love the birthday cake flavors these are another great snack just because I feel like somebody's gonna say something, I wanna just point this out. So when you're reading the label on this box, it says contain wheat and may contain, may contain milk and soy ingredients. But when you're reading the ingredients, there is no milk in them. So I interpret that as like, this is processed in a facility that also, you know, uses milk and other things. Listen, there's all types of vegans out there. I do everything in my power to avoid foods that have things in them. I know that there's gonna be a vegan out there who's like, you're a fake vegan because you eat these. But it's like, I can't help that half of the stuff I buy is produced in facilities that like also put like milk and stuff on their equipment. It doesn't have milk in the ingredients. And therefore I make the decision that it's okay to eat as a vegan. Everyone's gonna feel some type of way about it. You just have to do what works for you. And if you're, you know, even if you're just eating one plant-based meal a day, you're making a difference. So just like do your best and don't let these crazy vegans come for you. I also like to just have milk always. Again, pastas, things like that. This is, I just like the soy milk. This is the silk soy milk, the red bottle. You can get whatever you like. And then I also picked up corn. Like I was telling you guys, I love taco bowls. I wanna get back on my taco bowl grind. So I'll just, um, what I'll probably do for these is go ahead and just cook them and then i'll just like shred the corn off and put it in a little container and then when i want a taco bowl just heat everything back up again super easy because corn takes a little bit longer to cook than like peppers do this is fun i saw this recipe for ramen on my tiktok page so i got these organic ramen noodles and i really like this too because there are four little packages in this box at least that's what i think yeah so there's little packages so you can kind of just like make individual meals because some things i like my boyfriend does not so i like things that are already portioned for just me and then these i've not tried yet but i love trying new stuff at sprouts i'm always like down to try something new so 
these are new these are taquitos um these were like my favorite snack growing up as a kid like i was not a pizza rolls kid i was not a bagel bites kid i was a taquito kid so i'm really excited to try these i hope that they're super good i got these because they were on sale um otherwise they were pretty expensive i think they were like ten dollars um and there's eight taquitos in here so i'll have to let you guys know how these go i'm probably gonna honestly make them right now because i'm really hungry and then of course i talked about these in a favorites video but it was a different kind and at the at that point i had only tried the mint regular and i think i had tried the caramel this is the caramel chocolate chip and this is actually really good the sea salt caramel ugh. um but these amazing you guys these are so good i'm obsessed with these i'm also obsessed with this Um, I had the best idea ever last night to put powdered sugar on the Sweet Lauren's Fudgy Brownie Cookies because I love brownies and that's like literally what these taste like and it was amazing. This brand is super great if you are, this has a lot of like allergens I think. Um, it's plant-based, gluten-free, dairy-free, and nut-free so they're amazing and they're not like garbage because some of these like bigger brands like Nestle and stuff, I feel like they make plant-based stuff. And that's another thing. People will come for you sideways and be like, oh, you know, well, you're eating vegan. Just because I'm vegan doesn't mean my taste buds need to suffer. There's good and bad vegan food. Like no one wants to talk about it, but it's true. Um, and yeah, like the Nestle dairy-free cookies, not good, I'm not gonna eat them. Another thing I wanted to try because I have had like such a tooth for soda lately. I don't know why I never drank soda growing up. I like was not a soda kid. Um, even though we always had it in our house, I just never really drank it. And I've been on the cola Celsius kick, but I don't want to like be stuffing myself up with caffeine all of the time. So I saw these, these were on sale. So I got them. I got the orange one. And then I also got the, um, regular classic cola and these are prebiotic sodas. Um, so I'm hoping that these are going to be really good. Cause I like that caffeinated. I just don't like sparkling water. So it's really hard. So I'm nervous. Um, I'm gonna let you guys know how these go. Again, this is not like this is not something I would buy every single week, unless I really liked it. Two more bags, and then we'll be done. Okay, the next thing I got this is just another one of those daring chicken things, and then these are the breakfast patties that I always get. These are the Beyond sausage breakfast patties. These are spicy. I just get one of these because they're kind of expensive, and one serving is two patties, so. This is like three days worth of food. And then what I'll do closer into the week is I'll just get the actual like meats that look like this. These were on sale, good price. I like Impossible better, but the Impossible was $10 and this was five. So I got two of these. Um, and what I'll do is I'll just like defrost one. And when I run out of these, I'll just make these and season them myself. And it's pretty much the same thing. I buy everything in the ground. Um, because it's just easier and it's cheaper. Sometimes I'll buy the burgers and use them as the ground because they're cheaper. I just do whatever's cheaper because stuff like this, this is the vegan stuff that gets expensive. It's not like normal things that aren't vegan, like pasta and vegetables and like noodles and stuff. It's literally like the fake vegan stuff that gets expensive. I got some potatoes for my breakfast sandwiches in the morning. So just a bag of these golden ones. This is a great alternative if you don't want to use like cashews. Soaking cashews takes forever and if you forget to do it, it sucks. But this is like heavy whipping cream. So if you have any recipes that require like a creamer, I always just Google regular recipes and swap ingredients out for plant-based stuff. So this is a great heavy whipping cream alternative by Silk. I like to just have this because again, I be whipping up pastas all of the time. And then I prefer the just egg patties, but you can only get those at Walmart near me. So I didn't feel like going to two places. I just got the just egg. I get two of these. I go through them really quick. Um, they're super great. This is good if you want like omelet style. And if you have those little like egg things where you just pour it in, these are really great for that. And then I got some tofu. So I like extra firm tofu. This is I like to just keep these around. You do have to pat them dry and like let them sit out. So this is something that I'll like prep and then marinate so that it's ready to go when I wanna cook it. These are like two, not even $2 per pack. So, and this is really great because there's five servings in here of tofu. So tofu is not expensive. And once you learn how to cook tofu, 
it's really great. But then I also got some flavored tofu. This is a little bit more expensive because it's like organic baked tofu. This is sriracha flavored and this one is teriyaki. And I'm gonna use this one for my ramen meal. But that is going to wrap up this vegan grocery haul. Like I said, I don't buy this stuff every single week. Um, I just really needed to restock. But I hope this gives you guys a good idea of the types of things that I eat as a vegan. I do wanna film a what I eat in a day video because I love watching those and I feel like eating plant-based is so much easier than people make it seem. So yeah, I'm excited to try this new stuff out. I'll definitely let you guys know how it all goes and I hope you're enjoying Vlogmas so far. I will see you tomorrow for another video.